Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you subscribed. Thank you to all my new subscribers, I can see you all, thank you ever so much and thank you to all of you that have been here with me all along and keep coming back and keep listening to my drivel. <laughs> I really appreciate you all. Um, found this one it's called small altar car hall and jack-in-the-box and it's unlisted so she either said something bad or it's from a pay me tron i can't remember shall we jump in it's just beautiful it feels like summer but it's dry like i'm not hot <clears throat> have my top down and um wearing shorts and a t-shirt oh have i got you on double sorry sorry lawrence back to the beginning it's just beautiful. It feels like summer, but it's dry. Like I'm not hot. <clears throat> Have my top down and um, wearing shorts and a t-shirt. And I have to keep remembering it's the beginning of March. Brag, 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 brag. But apparently you fucking hate Arizona. So which is it? Huh? Lardy pants? <laughs> Bum. I was just about to say, do I get a chocolate womble? I swap my coffee cup for my pop cup and not made a noise and then I made a noise. How many rows of traffic is that? Oh, you would get in the way, wouldn't you? Five, do you have five lanes of traffic on a road? God, we barely have roads that fit one, one lane of traffic. I thought I'd done something wrong then. It's not me, it's her end. And why, see, I know I watched the first couple of minutes to see if I knew what it was. And because I did that, now I'm recording it. I'm thinking I've already recorded it before. I don't know what it is. Lilacs. <clears throat> Maybe lilacs, but look at this. Isn't that so pretty? Um, I'm at the nearby mall. Is this when she'd only just moved and she was enamoured by everything and now she hates it all? And I just managed to always like catch the sunset. Oh my god. Well you will if you don't get up until six o'clock in the fucking evening. Uh, you guys, can you see that? I don't think I can zoom in, but um, pink and blue sky always means something good. So I just putzed around. So what's new? You're always just putzing around. Um, nothing to really do. Story of your life. Look at these pretty flowers. Hang on, I'm gonna turn it off and turn it around. You can get color inspirations, palettes, but just by looking at how they put things together. I love like the red with the purple. It's almost like magenta purple and the green, obviously green. And this, oh, so pretty. All these pansies. Thing is, though, Lardy, do you understand that everywhere has a sunset and that the sunset everywhere looks beautiful, as does the sunrise? 
It's not just where you live. Just thought I'd add that in there, you know. Those mountains. Has she got a finger over the microphone? I've got a couple things I can show you when I get in my car. And then, oh, here's the cactuses. Cacti. Uh, what else? Ow. My left knee is really hurt. Is there ever a video where she's not complaining about something hurting her? Lardy, when you do this, all you do is prove over and over and over that you don't have chronic pain daily and that you don't have fibro and you don't have all the other fucking illnesses that you claim to have. I never moan about something hurting because something fucking hurts all the time. So if that was the case, I'd never shut up. When you say, oh, my knee really hurts, that just proves that the rest of you doesn't. Therefore, you don't have what you claim to have. Fuck with. Hurting me. Um, I don't know, I kind of feel like going out, but I have nobody to go out with. Wah, wah, wah. Perhaps, just perhaps... If you were fucking nice to people, you would have someone to go out with. I shouldn't anyways. I, I said I could, yeah. Why do people show them walking? I don't know why I do. Just think. You could say, where where is she? Where is she living? Thing. Think, think, think. Yeah, that had a balcony. You could sit out on your balcony every evening and have a, a glass of wine or a cup of coffee and watch the sunset. You don't have to go out shopping to see it, do you? Children scream, Lardy. I bet you were a wonderful mum. Can you imagine what it was like when Burke screamed? Just going by the way she treats her animals. That should give you an idea. Thank God fucking Carol was there to keep an eye on him. And people say, oh, isn't it good she only had one child? Because then she'd pit them off against each other. I don't know if that's any good being an only child either. I was an only child to a narc and I, I wasn't the golden child. She decided that my cousin was. And then she wonders why I don't want anything to do with her. Look at Laurie. That's basically my mother. Yeah. Only I don't think my mum went round wishing death on people. But then, how would I know? I cannot stand a screaming kid. I can't stand a screaming lardy, but we don't have much choice, do we? Alright. What did I get? I'll do like what some people do. And here's my receipt from Alta to show that I didn't it. No, that only shows that you bought something at Ulta at some point. Doesn't show how much you bought at Ulta and it doesn't show that it was this evening and that everything you're going to show is on that receipt, does it? Proves nothing. I got one of these. How much is this? Like 
where's a, where's a good place to get these that they're not crazy expensive because I go through them like uh, three-sided block <gasps> this was only 99 cents it better work good and then I also so this proves that she went into Ulta and got stuff and didn't even look at the prices I know my aunt used to say to me if you have to look at the price that means you can't afford it but not necessarily it means that you're just budgeting and you if you're going out with £10 in your pocket and you need to buy a few bits you're going to check that you're not going over your, your spending limit so you get to the till and you look like a tip when you're asking to put stuff back because you've only got a tenner in your pocket but she never had to look at the prices of anything. I think she does now though. She got this, which isn't the greatest. Oh, 99 cents. So much cheaper anywhere than anywhere else. But does it work? That is the... How is it so much cheaper than anywhere else when you didn't know how much it was to begin with? Where can I get these cheap, you said? So where have you been buying them? Surely they're cheap at Sally's, aren't they? But see, that's the thing. You're the same as Lisa. You need instant gratification. You have to go out and physically buy something to get the high. And then you can return it. It doesn't matter then. Once you've got the high of buying it, that that's it's outlived its usefulness, hasn't it? You You could go online and research where the best place to get them are and probably get them in bulk because you go through them and get them for a lot cheaper and order them online but you can't do that because it might take if it's aliexpress it might take months to get to you or if it's somewhere else it might take a couple of weeks and you and lisa can't wait five minutes never mind two weeks question na, 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 na. <laughs> did anybody else think that though <laughs> This I didn't get. Well, I got it from there, but a while ago. This is my NYX Butter Gloss. Okay. Are they really all that, them NYX Butter Glosses? I've never bothered getting one. Because it's a pain in the hole getting American things over here. We always pay through the nose for it. And it's like, is it really worth bothering with when I can go to Barry M or fucking wherever? Does anyone remember Constance Carroll? When I was young, that's what I used to buy. I used to think it was an actual br proper brand. I mean, it is a brand, but, you know, I think it was cheaper than cheap. But it did see that's the thing it's like when kids are starting out if they're really good at makeup and they've only got one palette with colors in they're not asked that it's bad quality or it's not fucking Danessa Myricks or whatever because they've got talent and they can make whatever they do with it look good and then there's me with all this stuff that can't make it look good <laughs> Then I figured I would try this because everyone has been saying really good things about it. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and it better be fucking good because I really hate it when with YouTube, you know, everybody jumps on the bandwagon. This like you just did. Sticky primer, you know, like... Uh, that's like the latest thing and then it was remember back when the beauty blender came out now there's all these different knockoff ones and um i'm hoping it to see okay. well somebody has to start the trend don't they beauty blender was original and then people thought hey that's a good idea i could make that but someone has to be first. Packaging is very... Very what? Sleek. Thank you. 
Are you deliberately mumbling again, Lardy? I never tried this either. I never got the primer thing. When um, I was buying Smashbox from QVC, it used to come with a pr the TSVs used to come with two thousand things, and it was really good value back then. And their primer came, and it was like, what is the point of that? I don't understand. <laughs> Stop mumbling. Ooh. Feels wet. Hang on. Why are you putting Said. primer over fucking foundation? Why can you not? What is it with her? Why can't you wait till you get home? Wash what you've got on your face off and then try it. What use is it going to be putting it on over all the fucking crap you've already got in your face? Put on after moisturising and then thin coat. Let me just see. I think I'm going to almost go down and let and wait 30 seconds. It's better work. Because I got it because I'm saying, oh my god! You got it because everyone else got it. Did you pay attention to why they got it and what it was for and what it did and how they used it? Because if you don't like using primers or you don't like how that primer feels, then there's pointless you getting it. That's the thing with people. They hear, oh my God, this is amazing. And so they go out and get it and they go, oh, it makes me look oily. Yes, it says dewy. I don't like dewy. So why did you buy it? Because Lisa Lisa D1 said, the times we're living in, they're mad. Absolutely mad. Try the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's only $8. I really... Only. But see, that's the thing as well. It's like, it's only $8. It doesn't matter how much it costs, does it? Because you'll just bring it back if you don't like it. If you lived here, you'd be fucked. The minute you took that out of the packet, it didn't even matter if you took the lid off or not. It's yours. You've bought it. Tough shit. But it brings me out in boils, and... <laughs> I really don't like to buy um, expensive makeup anymore. <laughs> oh, funny how now you've got a few quid. It's Chanel this and Chanel that and fucking Dior the other. But back here when you were potless, it was the Dollar Tree. <laughs> She's such a fucking liar. I don't like to buy. No, I can't afford it. Why can't you be honest and say, I'd much rather buy a fucking Chanel thing, but I haven't got the money at the moment, so it's the Dollar Tree for me. Including nail polish. Like, you don't need to. I know I'm looking at myself. And then she went out and bought a load of ILMP. And as she has never said it at any point, I don't think she knows what it it's really called. And I keep saying I'm not going to say it, so I'm not going to say it. Okay. I like now at Ulta, they have a lot of testers. So I can steal them. Button. Allegedly, don't come for me. So I was able to test this first. I have to break the seal. So this is by Makeup Revolution and I have a big highlighting pan that's like lighter, almost on the whiter side, whiter side, which is fine when I'm pale, but when I get tan, uh, it's 
gonna make me look ashy. So, and also it's got some chunks of glitter, which I don't like. So this one is the Sculpt and Glow in the color Desert Sky. How apropos. Oh, shut up. So it has this matte and then this color. And let's just do a little swatch a -rooney. So that's Now, I'm doing this with my finger. So. I wonder if those people walking past the back of her car are looking at her and thinking, what's that odd woman doing in there? That's nice. Stop pulling that stupid face. That's really nice. It's very, very... And again, I ask, why can't you wait till you get fucking home? Do it with a brush. And texture. Okay. Now, for that. <laughs> yeah, go on. Highlight the nose. More, more. I'm just looking to see if this is even recording. I mean, I have a ton of highlighters, but I just wanted something new. I actually wanted... There you go. I just wanted something new. It's not what it always comes down to. I just wanted... I just wanted, I need to treat myself. Yeah. Never treat the animals though, do you? A liquid, but I couldn't find anything. I just got suddenly depressed. How can you get suddenly depressed? I'm suddenly sad. Don't belittle depression. People throw that word around. Oh, I feel a bit depressed. If you were depressed, you'd know about it. There's people that fight that daily. And you're fucking, oh, I feel depressed. It's another thing to fucking hate her for. I was asleep by nine last night. Asleep. What does that mean? Were you asleep or weren't you asleep? Barely. Friday night, and now it's Saturday night, and I'm just... Why are you alone? Hmm? Do you ever wonder why? Because you're a big, fat, raging cunt to people. That is why you have no friends. That is why you have no one to go out with on a Friday or Saturday night. Or even have someone come round with a bottle of wine and talk bollocks and sing songs. I used to love doing that, my friend. We both loved karaoke. And then midweek, we'd either go to her house or my house and have bottles of cheap wine. Nine times out of ten it was Lambrusco or something. Get shit-faced and sing. <laughs> they were some good days. But she hasn't even got anyone to do that with. Why? Because you're a mean, horrible bitch. Try being nice to people. Then you might have someone to do something with or go somewhere with. There she is, sat, looking sad. Either looking for PayPal money or medication. But either way, she wants everyone to feel sorry for her. You brought it on yourself, Lardy. You know that thing, karma. There you go. So 
So you guys, I'm on Facebook. <clears throat> I remember why I hated it. All the phony pictures of everybody's perfect little family. See, there you go. I'm so lonely. I'm so sad. I've got no one to go out with. And then I went on Facebook. All the phony people. That's why you've got no fucking friends. My friend, friend, she's not my friend, with her mother, and says, okay. This will be the reason why she's not your friend. This is what you do. So it's okay. Take a picture with your mother. Yes. But then she has to write, the best mom in the world. And I know what she really thinks. It's not, it, so you don't have to tell people about your problems with family like I do, but you also don't have to say the best mom in the world when you kicked your mother, this is years ago, and she's never even gonna see this. You kicked your mother, this was before Burke was born, out of the house on Thanksgiving in front of everybody at the table. Be right, so this was before Burke was born. You're in Arizona, so it was what? A year ago at the most. And Burke's what? 21, 22? So it's over 22 years ago that this person had a row with their mother on Thanksgiving. What's happened between that Thanksgiving and now? Do you think maybe possibly they made up, probably made up Thanksgiving night on the phone and the rest of the 22 years has been fine? And maybe her mum did something amazing for her and she wants to say that she's the best mum in the world because of that, but she's not actually announcing what it was. Not everybody holds a grudge for fucking decades, Lardy. People let things drop, but you don't know how to do that. So you're going on about something that happened over 22 years ago. Do you realise how fucking stupid you sound? How many times have you been on a night out with the girls and one of them is ragging their husband from one end of the pub to the other? Pain in the hole, never washes up, blah, blah, blah. Leaves shit stains on the toilet, whatever. And then a week later, there's a picture of them kissing and cuddling. Doesn't mean that they don't love them. Sometimes people just need to let off steam. That might have just been one time where they had an argument about something. Because they always say, don't they, Christmas, Thanksgiving, that type of thing. It's where all the family gets together and everything boils over and there's usually an argument. Thankfully, that never happened in our family. We all used to just get drunk and sing. <laughs> I think that's a good bit about being in an Irish family. You could fight, yeah, but nine times out of ten, you'd end up drinking and singing. It just shows you she can't let anything go. And not only can she not let anything go herself, is she likes to hold a grudge for everybody else as well. She thinks her friend should never have spoken another word to their mother from that day to this. Utter madness. Because your this girl's son had ADHD and she didn't, did she, she did or she didn't give him his Adderall so that he would eat. And she was embarrassing him because he was like <clears throat> seven, eight, embarrassing him at the table, making him eat. And the mother was like, I can't, I'm not going to stand for this. I'm not, I can't stand here while you're doing that to him. And she was like, well, then leave. And so her, my mother and I went to her 
um, Thanksgiving dinner. Berg must have... You and your mother aged your way into somebody else's dinner because neither of you cook. And rather than pay to go somewhere or whatever, you invited yourself like you always do. Do you know what? I'd pass out if she ever said, I hosted blah, 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 blah. You've got no idea here. How to entertain people, how to talk to people, how to be a nice person. Digging up, telling the world, somebody else's private family things. And do you give a shit? No. Been born, he was, but he was little. Yeah, he was born, but he was little. And, and my mother and I went to her Thanksgiving and the only reason my mother went was because her mother was going to be there. So I thought it would be nice for my mother. And her mother was a total bitch. And then up and left. So my mother was there with like all of us. It was very... And, and then I see a picture of her with her mother. She's the best mother in the world. I mean... I don't know. And then I have another friend. Who's not a friend. Whose parents like abused them so badly, both sexually and mentally. And Wow. Wow. I have a new subscriber. I knew her name 15 seconds ago. And we were only just saying in a comment, just when you think she can't stoop any lower, there she goes. Telling everybody's innermost secrets. Irma, Tay Tay, Helen, don't share anything with her because you do know she'll do the same to you. I don't care how much money you've given her, Marie Diana. If you've told her anything personal, she'll share it. And before she started saying this, I was watching her with the seatbelt. She's the one that fucking twists it. She doesn't know how to put a fuck, pull a seatbelt out and put it on without fucking twisting it. Physically. And... She, too. Showed a birthday picture and... That's fine. That's not the problem that I have. The problem that I have is... Oh! the phoniness. The problem you have is people lying. Because you'd never do that, would you? Everybody is so phony. I guess I should be more phony. Like everybody else. Make everything look perfect. I just can't. Really? Are you quite done? I can't. I mean, I don't know. It's It feels like lying. But you lie all the fucking time. Even not telling certain things that happen feels like lying to me. And I'm not a liar. Yeah, not you to are. say that I haven't lied. Everybody lies. In fact, the people- And now we're shouting. She gets so fucking wound up over nothing. People that say they don't lie are the ones that lie the most. <clears throat> I lie. I've lied. I'm not a liar. There's a difference. You are a liar. And stop fiddling with that fucking head thing. And then... I 
the bit over your ear is twisted out it's turned out it's not supposed to be over your ear it's supposed to be behind your fucking ear <clears throat> <clears throat> I like this this angle. Can you see the highlight? No. Look at the face. I'm gonna have to go back and grab that for a thumbnail. Um I'm gonna be doing a YouTube video about a product that was sent to me. Um my my Patreon is not going to contain sales. I'm not going to do Sensi. I might talk very, very little about it, but it's not going to be salesy at all. And so this, um, a lot of you have asked me, you know, what I've been using on my face and it's called a Dremel. I'll put you out of your misery. That's what she's been using. It is partly this brush that I did receive. It's not expensive. It's not the greatest brush that I've ever, I don't know. The Clarisonic is really expensive and I need something that moves. I, this, that whole Dremel. Whole ultrasonic vibration thing it doesn't feel like it's doing anything um so i need something that moves <clears throat> honestly i don't even know the name of the product i'd have i have to look i forget the name of it um so i just want to quickly tell you 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 can go and find out about it when i do a review on youtube about it um you can go and find out about it when I do the review on YouTube. So they can't go and find out about it. They have to wait until you've done the review. It's basically a spin brush with all these different attachments. And it has a big one. So it has a, like an exfoliating one that's a little rougher than it has a gentle one, which I would never use. Because my skin, I put it through the ringer. Which is probably why I don't have a lot of wrinkles. Um, and then what ever it comes with a pumice stone that is completely useless on my skin anyways, on my heels and on my elbows, completely useless. And then a, um, uh, a big one. Why can't you go to Olive Garden on your own? Why do you have to go with anybody? You're a big girl. You can go in and sit down and order something and eat it on your own. And then a big one that you can use on your body, which I have used on my body, but I also use it on my face just because it's the same strength as the small one that is you know, it's the exfoliating, but it's just bigger. So it covers oh, more surface area so I can do my whole forehead. It's a Dremel, told you. Um, I feel like in that show, Dumb and Dumber, when they're doing his toenails and they've got the like big heavy duty sand. Uh, it's Jack in the Box out here. Maybe look it up on your phone and get directions. So I've been using that with Neutrogena face wash and then occasionally Neutrogena some exfoliant. 
not exfoliant toner, but it has uh, hyaluronic acid. That's not exfoliating. Do you know what hyaluronic acid does? And if I hear one more person saying hyaluronic, I'm going to thump them. Somebody asked me um, to look at this other woman who's 60 and does beauty things. And I was watching one of her videos the other night and she said it, hyaluronic. And it's like, oh, for fuck's sake, can you not read? Lisa's bad enough, but I thought at least this one, no. So it's, you know, it stings, which I like. And then a moisturizer, which is... Hyaluronic acid doesn't sting, you dopey fuck. <laughs> what is she going on about? Either the Palmer's cocoa butter oil or the Palmer's cocoa butter lotion. Or I also have the Palmer's cocoa butter... cocoa butter balm I have it all because my nose gets really dry so I like to massage in there I use the oil on my face and then I use the lotion because I'm really dry especially here so dry my god in the desert who would have thunk it but my hands are like oh there's Jack in the box okay um good it is that it doesn't clog your pores okay this is what I get every single time because it lasts me forever yeah I of course it does mini tacos. it lasts me forever how many times has she sat down on a video and said oh this is going to last me for four meals at least and she's at it by the end of the video does she think if she tells herself that it's true what happens when she goes to get it for the next meal and she's at it all? Does she pretend she's eating it or something? What goes on in that stupid little head of hers? And I will. Okay. Um. saying how I put the oil on and then I put the Palmer's cocoa butter moisturizer and then I put Vaseline not all over my face but like I rub it in here and then I put a lot here and then right here and any other dry patches um, you can rub as much as you want it does not get absorbed by your skin so So where does it go then? If you rub it on your skin and you don't take it off again but it's not there anymore where has it gone? Does it evaporate? Is that what happens? Because if that's the case then it's absolutely pointless putting it on anywhere really isn't it? Why does she never know what she's talking about? And people actually believe this bollocks that she spews. It's like when I was arguing with that woman when she watched the the video, the George Floyd bit where she was wishing me it was me on the floor. But Lardy said you edited it. How? 
How can I make Lardy say those words in order with the captions underneath saying exactly the same thing in order? But she said, but it's not possible. But she said, if she said the sky was fucking water and that the ground was jelly and that people weren't really people, they were robots, would you believe that as well? I think it's quite sad the way her minions believe all the bollocks she says. I never question it. They have the power of Google. And do they check anything? Nope. It can't clog your ports. I fixed my heart necklace. It had broken. And then I also added to this, this Swarovski skull. But the way that they made it with the, with the little lobster, lobster claw clasp. There's like a design flaw if you want to wear it as a necklace because if you clasp it on, it's to the side. So I had to add an extra jump ring. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Oh my God, it's crazy. Yes, you twisted the seat belt when you put it on, fuckwit. And obviously that little tiny skull wasn't supposed to be put on a fucking as a necklace. You'd take the lobster claw clasp off and put it on that way. If it has a lobster claw clasp on it, how many times can you say that? Maybe it was just supposed to be a design thing at the back to dangle down your neck sexily. Yeah, because you twisted it. Look, there you go again. so fucking rude thanks yeah you're grabbing it off her barely talking to her and trying to drive over her feet because you don't want us to know that you've got four tacos or whatever it is in there oh my god she had to repeat twice see what i got yes to make sure that she's giving you the right order she doesn't know that you want to hide how much you're eating to the people in your phone. Maybe you should have muted the phone while she was giving you your bag. And we wouldn't know what you were eating. You make me sound like a big fucking pig. I'm not going to eat all four tacos. It's getting dark. Of course you're not. We believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Don't start, please. Do not start with that bollocks. That is not a fibro flare. Do you know, I wouldn't wish fibro on my worst enemy. Barlardas. I would love her to wake up one day in a full flare. When she can't lift her head off the pillow. She hasn't got the energy to go and pee. She can't lift her arms to brush her teeth and her whole body feels like it's on fire and she's dying. But no, she's having a flare right now, folks, in the car. Such a warrior. Complaining, but I am. I wish I had someone to talk to. Dance. I know, 
I could do a lot of things to meet people. I could join a group. That's how I, that's what I did in California. I joined the over 50s and then spent the entire time moaning about how old everybody was. I joined an over 50s group. some nice people but not like honestly like okay so I'm gonna be 57 next month I don't look 57 I don't act 57 says you my but in a lot of ways I I am 57 meaning I'm very smart Mm -hmm. Like, I've learned a lot. I know how to do a lot of things. I have a lot of experience with with many different things. The seatbelt is making me crazy right now. What I'm trying to say is, you know, so the 57... The, the 50 and over group was like old, old people. You're old people. You can be 57 and not be youthful. Is this it? I think so. No, but I can figure out how. <gasps> Fuck's sake, I thought she was turning the other way then and there was someone coming up on her side and it was like, ah. She fucking makes me nervous when she drives. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm very, very youthful. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm very youthful. I'm very, um... Don't you think the other old people in the over 50s group felt like they were youthful too? With the times, you know, I'm not one of these people that is like... Don't lie on about your age on dating sites. Fuck yes, I'm gonna lie about my age on dating sites. And I'll qualify that to say, when I meet the guy, I tell them the truth, but no, don't you lie don't. on dating sites. Plus, I feel like age, at this point for me, is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I've had my child. I'm not going after 20 year olds or 30 year olds. I'm not going after 70 and 80 year old men. Like you get the, the age feeling from me. You can tell. I say my son, I have a 20 year old son. So you know, I'm done having kids. I'm living on my own. I'm divorced. We're in the same age bracket. Whether I'm 50 or 52 or 56 or 57 is neither here nor there. That's my opinion. If a guy lies about his age on there, if he, let's say he's turned 60 or 62, but he's a young 60 or 62 and looks young and feels young and acts young and he puts that he's 58, I'm fine with that because the year that you were born isn't isn't everything. It's the same as putting your height. I'm not 5'4". Do I put 5'3"? Do I put 5'4"? I put 5'4". You get the idea. I'm not going to lie by... Okay, anyways. Why? Why put that you're 5'4 if you're not? Why put that you're 45 when you're not? If you think you're so fucking youthful and your picture is amazing, then put the truth beside it. And as you seem to think, people will see it and go, wow, doesn't she look young for her age? 
what's the point of telling someone you're five foot nine and you turn up and they're looking for this five foot nine and then this five foot four dwarf walks up to them and before anyone says anything i'm five foot four why lie what is the point in lying if you're never gonna meet somebody then you can tell them whatever the fuck you like but if you're actually going on a date with them it's stupid Someone's gonna fucking take my spot, I can just tell. It's not your spot though. Um, so yeah, anyways, so what I, my whole point was, yep, they're gonna take it. No, they're not. My whole point was, they were an old group. Like, much older, you know, over 50s, it wasn't like even 56-year-olds, maybe one or two, me being one. Okay, you guys have to see this. This is how ghetto, this is totally ghetto. My door doesn't work, so I have to roll down the window, not roll, put down the window. Open the door and put up the window. Okay. Bye. Ooh. That was fun, yeah. wasn't it? Not. So, thanks for getting to the end with me if you did. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.